A bit overcast today, isn't it? Not overcast. Very much so. Very much so. We have glorious weather. But on this occasion, it's not very nice. Uh, but today, we're heading down to Midhurst and we're going to the Cowdery Ruins. We'll meet up with our friend Kevin Hall. Uh, actually, you've not met Kevin, but, uh, uh, and he'll show us around. I'm going to walk around uh, the ruins of Cowdery Hall. Let's go. Oh, no. loads of hours. We've got to stop here. Yeah, we'll stop here. Oh, wow. wow. We're just driving through Petworth. Some we'll lovely look old. Going. Yeah, we'll look around here. Amazing old village. Must be the right one. <laughs> There's Kevin Hall. <laughs> so here we are, Caldry Castle. We finally joined by Kevin Hall. Hello. And we've got Al, Al behind us, all socially socially distancing as we walk along. Now, as Kevin was saying to me, you can, you, you can only walk around the perimeter. You the can't perimeter. actually yeah, yeah. go inside anymore, which is a bit sad. No, they're not. No, they've they've. I think they um, stopped people going into the actual ruins some years ago. Oh right. Um, but uh, they've got they've got sight fencing all round it. But I think that is mainly to do with safety. Uh huh. Oh, um, good old elf and safety. Yeah, yeah. The usual stuff. <laughs> the usual stuff. <laughs> but we can still get some nice views of it as we oh, as, yeah, we, walk, as we walk yeah. round. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Every time I go shooting the moon, there's a wall garden through there. Lovely, lovely, these lovely old buildings. Fantastic. <laughs> yes, I we're joking about that. Every time we go. I must have known you were, you were coming because yeah. they're marvellous. Yeah. But all these cottages through here were um, estate workers' cottages. Right. Um, some are still rented out to the estate workers, but some, I think, are privately owned now. Oh, wow, look at that. No. So the original was built in the 1200s by the Bowen family. That's at um, St Anne's Hill. Right. But this is from the 1500s. 1500s, yeah. The okay. Bohun family um, built the St Anne's Hill um, manor house, I think it was. Right. Um, and then they they moved to the lower land to here to build this, but then. I think a monk put a curse on the family that's not really and nice. that they would die a death in fire and that's exactly what happened of here. course in the fifth in that in 15 something yeah there was a fire that's and that's right. the room we see now yes it yeah yep. oh wow okay yeah yeah well just beyond the the main stands there yeah that is there's two totally flat polo fields right. and it's, they're known as the lawns polos fields yeah which is the Caldry Park um, polo fields. Oh, okay. And this is where they held the the world famous gold cup here every oh, year, right. okay, yeah. which should be, oh, well, I suppose, starting now. But of mm. course, it won't be now because no. the lockdown. So what an amazing place! I'm sorry the weather's a bit overcast today. We've got such glorious yeah, sunshine and heat, but um, yeah, yeah, Calvary Castle destroyed by fire in the 1500s. Yeah, Windy as well up here. I hope you can hear me. I'm having trouble with my mic lately it's with the road mic. I hope it's okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. And close up to those windows with your camera and you can get some decent shots of what's in there. Yeah, so yeah. it's set up as it used to be. Right. But now it's no admittance, health and safety. Such a shame. I have to get that a bit closer. But no, the, even with the railings here, it's not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. Those windows would have been huge. Yeah. So there's two windows in there, isn't it? Well, it's a, yeah, I've, I've looked at that before and I wondered that, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm oh, yeah, not sure, no. It sometimes makes you wonder if they've actually... It's like they've bricked up, doesn't yeah, it? But... Yeah, and it looks as if they might have done some repointing at some point. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, it's one of... 
Because if they'd have been windows, they'd have been more with the arch yeah, windows. Because they yeah. they've got they haven't got an arch as such there. Caldry House is over the back there. Now you can just see the top of it. That's one. You know, I said the manor house to you earlier on. That's what I must have meant. Yeah, Caldry well, House. Uh, the, the manor, the one you were on about was. That um, no, must be up there, is that? It's up there, up that way. Because you're up yeah. by the, it's born Priory yes. then. Yeah. Up that, originally, yeah. The building I'm on about is through there, which is where the. Oh, I can see the top. Yes, yeah, yes. that's Caldry House. Right. And now that over there, guys, is a is a residence. It's a residence, yeah. If this is from the 1500s, it wouldn't be a castle. It would be, it would be more of a manor. Yeah, exactly. castle is more medieval. They've just yeah, built it yeah. like that. Yeah. Or the term castle. We're not talking about traditional-looking castles, but a castle is more of a medieval term. Yes. yes. Yeah. Or someone in the internet comments saying, "Actually, Mark, no, that's not quite <laughs> correct." <laughs> I love you. You're about to get them. Yeah. Yeah, you're about to get them all the time. Yeah. I've got to admit. They could at least, with this fencing, put some holes in so people can take decent photos of the ruins. You know, you just can't, there's nowhere for you to get a good shot. You can just about get your lens through there if you stretch it open, but it's, you know. And in the town, in the little museum, there is a, a plan of how the place would have looked. Yeah. Um, but a house this size, or a manor this size, would have had its own chapel. Yeah. Um, now, I'm, I'm guessing it could have been this end, it could have been the other end, but somewhere within this would have been their own private chapel because there was certainly one up on top of St Anne's Hill where before they came right. down here <laughs> right find that stump there I'll just I, I won't fall on the stump okay we're going up to St Anne's Hill in a minute which uh Kevin's gonna show us the way some more history up there oh I hope you can hear it's a bit blowy here today I've got a muff on the mic but the mic has been playing up as I said so hopefully it's gonna be okay Nice old bridge here. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The ruins the just over there. Quite, oh, sorry, no, 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 I was just uh, saying the, the water level's quite low. Yeah, is at it? The moment. Oh, yeah, you can tell. This, this is a, like a catchment area, front right. plate. Mm -hmm. And this was completely underwater a few months ago. Wow, you can tell the, the, the banks. Yeah, yeah. little beach, mini beach. So we're in the, so we're going uphill. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm glad I put my walking boots on, actually. Yeah, yeah. well, this is it. Now, this, is, this is where we start going up onto St Anne's Hill. St. And do you know a little bit of information about St Anne's Hill? Uh, I, I might do. Okay, we'll get out the top and yeah. he, might be, he might be able to uh, impress us. So, Kevin, this is St Anne's Hill. It is. And what is this? These are curtain walls. Curtain walls. Which mark where the original boundaries or original walls would have been but originally back in the 1200s a bit puffy after yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a steep, <laughs> steep climb up there guys <laughs> it would have been a, a wooden structure um so you've got as i say different areas dotted around we'll walk across in a minute to where the chapel used to be okay but main entrance would have been in the south southwest corner down through there which had originally, I believe, had an archway over it. Mm. But yeah, so this is the curtain walls all the way around. Okay, we're going down into the main entrance. What a fascinating place, Mr. Piddington. It is indeed. Do like a bit of history. We do like a bit of history. It's a problem with when it's dull and overcast and you're in, in a forest, the colours aren't very good, so I'm not going to grade the picture. If anyone's interested, by the way, I'm shooting on the Canon M50 today. We usually alternate between the Canon M50 because it's a better camera because you've got depth of field and all the rest of it uh, and the GoPro Hero 8 which is you know handy if you're out walking. So this would have been the main entrance? This is the main entrance here. Yeah, through here and what they're suggesting is there was an archway yeah. here, the end walls mm -hmm. to the left and right and then we go up into the the main site and the site is five and a half acres wow. in total so it's, it's a big a big plot and you know it's a very prominent position up here because we're just outside the main area of the old part of Midhurst. Would there have been an ancient settlement here? I keep saying this in all my videos about if we're up high on a hill and there's a structure or a settlement there, yeah. were there ancient settlements here before? That I don't know about. Uh, I don't know. Because we're, we're, we're up quite high. Quite possibly, yeah. But it was the Bohun family that were Bohun, here. Bohun, yeah. This is the chapel. This is the chapel here, yeah. Wow. So just the foundations left. Yeah, just these curtain walls. Yeah. 
I'm, so, I'm going to admit something. I've never heard the term, the term and people are going to say things like curtain walls. I've never heard that phrase before. I hadn't until I start re started reading a little bit about this place. And that's where I got the terminology from. Right. And it is actually something that's stuck. Curtain, curtain walls. walls. I don't know why. It's great. I love it. <laughs> the ruins. Calgary ruins. Ruins are down there, yeah. And this prominent position here, none of these trees that we see would have been here. The oak trees, nothing. Yeah. So you can see that... That view of that surrounding landscape. The, the surrounding land, you would have seen for a long, long way. Mm. So a very prominent position, and a, and a position that, if they want needed to, could be defended. Yeah, yeah. This would have been another part of the, of the, um, the old manor house. Mm -hmm. But again, without seeing the, the, the proper outlay um, of, the, of the building, you can't really tell, but this was definitely the chapel that I do know. So it's, you've got to try and work it. It's like being a detective, isn't it? Yeah. Anything like this with these old buildings or where the remains of the old buildings are. It's to try and work mm. out the best options, really, mm. of what, what you think is right. I mean, with the foundations, there's more here than I thought there would be. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really nice. That's the last yeah. little discovery. This one's got a doorway. See, this may, this may have, so it's nice to come and see these old ruins. We want to come here for a while. Into, into the entrance. I think people were living here 800, nearly 900 years ago. This would have been quarters, people could have been having their daily mills. And then you just go across there where they would have worshipped in the chapel. Oh, extraordinary. Do love an old ruin.